Welcome to your seventh reformer class. Hello. How are you all doing? Um, can you believe we're in the final week of the first month of lockdown and at home reformering? <laughs> um, I hope you're all doing okay. So today we're going to have a fun class. As usual, I'm trying to throw new things at you, um, but trying not to throw too many new things at you so you get a bit confused. So. Um, hopefully you're going to enjoy it and um, let's get going. So we are on one red and two blue springs as usual. Now you are in charge of your own class um, and your own, on your own springs of course. So if you feel the need to make this harder, use your yellows instead of your blues. So you can choose your one red and two yellows. So remember, some days you just feel like going for it. You be in charge, go for it. You've got your own reform now, so make the most of it. Um, I'm sticking with one red and two blues. So you've got a nice space between you and the shoulder blocks. Double check you're in line, your toes are on the foot bar. Oh, by the way, welcome um, to Elizabeth. Hi, she's a, a new member of our reformer gang, so cool. Um, I hope you've got that garage door open, Elizabeth, and you are enjoying the sunshine. Okay, so we are taking a deep breath in and engaging our core. Take a few minutes if you need to, to focus. Relax the mind, breathe in. And when you're ready, you're going to push out and bring the carriage back in. All the way out and all the way in. Good. So remember, this is a warm-up, but... This is not just a warm up, this is focusing your mind as well. This is calming your thoughts. This is getting you focused. This is losing any distracting thoughts that might be in your mind at the moment. All that has such a positive effect on your physical body. When your mind is feeling simple or calm and strong and healthy, anything that's good like that, all that good stuff, if all that's going on in your mind, your body has such a powerful response to it in a healthy way. So that's also what we want to try and achieve. So never be too hard on yourself. Keep happy and positive. Be proud of yourselves for what you're doing. Now push out, sink under with your heels, up on your toes and in. So out, under with the heels, up on the toes and in. Sit up, have a little check how your alignment's doing. Remember, you have to check yourself now. So your knees should be coming in and over your feet. And they should be staying in line with your hips. They shouldn't be all the way together. They shouldn't be too far apart. Concentrate on that heel sink and lifting up on the top. So you're getting movement all through your ankle. And carry on just trying to relax your thoughts, your mind. And appreciating that we've got this opportunity to do this. We are so lucky, all of us, you, me, we're all lucky with our situations. I don't think any of us saw this coming. And what a blessing that we are here on this amazing piece of equipment, which is just designed to keep us healthy. Um, and we're able to do this together. And push out. Heel sink and the opposite knee goes up, okay? So you're into your walking. Again, double check your alignment and then relax the shoulders. Relax the arms and the hands. Can you focus on your breathing for me for a few seconds? Breathe in through your mouth. Big, deep breath and then exhale. Sorry, in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Push that breath out. And push all that negative energy out as well. Get rid of anything negative. Breathe in. And exhale out. Just push it all out, that breath. Completely let go. Breathe in. And breathe out. Nice tightness around your lower stomach. So that core should be engaged. But these breaths should be deep. So good for you. Calms everything down as well. And again, breathe in. One more. And breathe out. Let it go, guys, and then up onto your toes. Just take a moment, breathe in, and exhale under with your heels, and then up onto your toes. We're going to push through about 10 of these. So 10, 9, 8, tighten up your belly, engage your pelvic floors as well. 7, 6, 5, 4, how's the burn? 3, 2, 
one, bend your knees, come on in. Excellent start, nice strong start guys, well done. I think the longer this goes on, this lockdown period that we're in, the more we have to focus on our mental and emotional well-being and health as well as the physical, it's all interlinked anyway. So it's good to just take that maybe a little bit more seriously. Grab your weights. <clears throat> and by seriously, I just mean just thinking about it. Just taking them few minutes to just calm the mind, feel positive and grateful. So if you want to change your springs down, if you have chosen that one red and two yellow, um, I would advise that you spring down because we're going to do single legs. But if like me, you've stuck with that one red and two blue, then you're grand as you are. Okay, grab onto your weights, drop in straight down, <clears throat> bring that leg into tabletop, the opposite leg on the foot bar, on the toe. Arms are up by the ceiling, we're going to gradually lower them down, but they're going to start nice and straight and above the shoulder. Breathe in, exhale, straighten the leg, point your toe and breathe in. Bend that knee into tabletop again and off you go again. Stretch the leg, bend into tabletop. Stretch the leg, bend into tabletop. Good. And good. Now, we're going to do five more. We're going to drop the arms down. So carry on, but drop the arms down. Five, four. Good. Nice stretch. Point your toe. Three, two, one, drop the arms again and again. Five more, five. You should be feeling this in your arms as well. Four, draw tension to the arms. Three, it's like you're gonna switch the arm muscles on. Two, and last one, and relax. Good. Swap the leg over, shuffle down, make sure you're comfortable on your shoulders. Leg in tabletop, arms are going up straight. <clears throat> Take your inhale, engage your core. Exhale, straighten the leg, and back into your tabletop. And again. Good. So focus on your form because you're not thinking about your arms right now. So focus on your core. How stretched is that leg? Have you got your toe pointed or your pole pointed? Either way. I like to toe my point. <laughs> and drop the arms for the next five. Not all the way down, just a few inches. Four. Good. Three, turn those arm muscles on. Take charge of these weights. Two, one, drop them down again and again. Five, come on, switch these arms on. Make them nice and strong. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, I'm gonna have a little treat in for you now. Why not, let's, why not work the abs as well as the legs? So, <clears throat> you're gonna lift your head and shoulders up, which means shuffling down a good bit from that shoulder, them shoulder blocks, otherwise they'll just get annoying. Okay, your two toes are gonna be onto the foot bar and we are gonna use your weights. Palms facing forward, elbows bent. And as you push out, your arms go up and then down. Arms up and down. The whole time you're leaving your head and shoulders up. You'll push out so your shoulders will eventually be pushing against those shoulder blocks. That'll keep you in place anyway. Breathe out and breathe in. Good, imagine you're doing a crunch. Engage your core. Really, really squeeze through those lower abs. You should be squeezing. All those lower abdominal muscles should be engaged and tight. Good. If this is a little bit difficult on your neck, then you can rest back down anytime you want, okay? Know your own body. Good. So you're in like a permanent crunch position and you're just pushing the reformer out and in and your arms are working too. Up and down. Punch it up. Bring it down. We've got five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. And relax. Okay. Give that neck a little rest. Excellent job, well done. <clears throat> okay, we're going to do one more set with single arms. We're going to fly through these ones. <clears throat> so, one foot on the foot bar, 
and one foot up tall. Take your inhale, exhale, arms down, foot down, arms up, leg up. Okay. If you want an extra little push, lift your head and shoulders up as the carriage goes out and then down as it comes in. Good. So head, shoulders up, arms down, leg out. And everything back to the ceiling. So your knee is straight, your elbows are straight. Now you can do this with the head down permanently. No problem at all. Right, let's speed it up for the last five. Four. Three. Two. One. And swap it over. Okay. Leg straight, arm straight. Double check your foot's not in the center of the foot bar, but it is in line with your hip. Now stretch through that leg, keep it nice and tall. Breathe in, exhale, leg down, arms down, optional, head and shoulders up. And again, good, breathe out, breathe in. Squeeze your core, keep those arm muscles switched on. Take charge of every movement. Make them neat and tidy. Think about your form and the quality. Good, you can always improve on the quality, always. Good, and that's what takes it to your next level. Good, we're gonna finish on five nice and strong. Five, four, and three. Doing brilliant guys, stick with me. Two, you got one more, oh yeah. Okay, keep your weights. Grab onto your circle. I'm going to be doing some uh, extra work with the circle today. It's a unanimous groan, do I hear? <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I feel like I need it in the legs at the moment, so why not? Okay, so keep your weights handy. So just balance them next to you, lie down. So it's the usual kind of footwork style, okay? But the circle is going to go between your knees. So place the circle between your knees. So if you're looking up and through the circle, you can get a little squeeze on that circle and it's not gonna pop out, okay? It's like you're looking through a steering wheel and the squishy parts are just pushing against the knee area, the inner knee area. Position it so you're reasonably comfortable. Now go into your Pilates V, which is your heels together and your toes apart. The balls of the foot, and the toes are on the foot bar. See if you can hold on to this position. So you're squeezing your heels together. Grab onto your weights, bending at the elbow. Your head is down. You're gonna push out and bring it back in. Push out, squeeze on the circle and up with the arms. So you're pushing out, you're squeezing through the knees. So the circle goes into an oval and your arms are straight. The carriage comes back, the arms bend, and you release the circle slightly. Good. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Are you still in that V position the best you can? Good. Squeeze, release, squeeze, and release. Five more. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Three, two, Last one, hold, hold this position, squeeze the knees together. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and back, and squeeze again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and all the way back out again. Heels together, toes apart, feels a little bit awkward in the lower leg, but just stick with it, and squeeze and release. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bend the knees again. Big squeezes, 10, nine, get a big old squeeze on that circle. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, in, and relax. Okay, <clears throat> now we're gonna go away from the Pilates V, so reposition the circle if you need to. <clears throat> so your feet are just normal position on the foot bar, okay? They're a little bit, probably a little, your feet are positioned maybe a smidge wider than hip width, okay, if you need to. 
take your inhale this time your arms are going to start lowering so as you push out the arms lower and you squeeze through the circle and up to the ceiling push the carriage out squeeze the circle and down with your arms good and in get a nice little rhythm going it's not too comfortable squeezing that circle in the, through your knees you're pushing through the circle so go on so speed it up so you're squeezing only for a second there you go speed it up remember arms down arms up arms down arms up switch the arm muscles on as well now let's pull it all together for the last 10 9 8 come on squeeze 7 6 nice and fast 5 4 3 two one and relax okay drop the weights keep hold of the circle just give your legs a little stretch stretch for a second cross your legs pull them into your chest and just pull out through your lower back for a second and then switch the other way and pull out the lower back okay <clears throat> now we're gonna pop this between the ankles okay shuffle right down so you've got a lovely big gap between your shoulders and that shoulder block you're going to appreciate that in a second your circle is between the ankles you are going to lift your head and shoulders up and you're going to hold this position you should already be feeling this across your stomach your arms are down by your side now just holding this position is tough I think you'll agree your legs are in tabletop your head and shoulders are up and you are squeezing just lightly through the circle now watch what happens when we start adding some fun a real big squeeze and an extra pulse up do that at the same time squeeze and pulse squeeze and pulse so you're lifting up your head and shoulders lift up higher and at the same time you squeeze the circle good good oh yes you're feeling these good it's a smallish movement on your back you're not going all the way up or all the way down you're pulsing nip through your stomach five four three two one oh relax well they're the bad boys hey Whew. just when you thought i couldn't get any meaner my goodness i surprise myself sometimes <laughs> okay we're gonna do one more set of them legs in tabletop head and shoulders up now if this is getting too much for anybody's neck you've got any neck problems head down and just squeeze through the circle okay you know yourselves okay for all of you guys who are with me let's go head and shoulders up and squeeze and lift squeeze and lift squeeze and lift come on let's go ten nine eight seven come on get more movement on the back five four three two one oh relax oh my goodness well done hi yeah yeah well done <clears throat> okay drop the circle for a second i think you'll probably be pleased to hear that oh <sighs> okay feeling that in the abs now change your springs we are going to do the hundred so you guys are going to use you your one red spring and your one blue spring my springs are slightly different you are using your one red and your one blue okie dokie now lie down grab your uh, sorry grab your straps pop your hands in the short part of your straps okay now your your abs should already be feeling a little bit of something so let's just add to that add to the abage legs in tabletop start with your head down inhale for me lift your head up bring your arms down and extend through your legs and hold three two one and bring everything back so we're going to do these slow but we're going to concentrate on that form we're going to get as deep as we can with those core muscles breathe in exhale now straight arms straight legs 
Come on, keep on holding for me. Three, two, one, and bring it back down. Focus, you've got this. And up and hold, nice and slow. Now take your time. Breathe deep. Come on, power yourself with your breath. Two, one, and back. Beautiful, slow it down. Feel like you are superwoman doing these. You are, the, you are in charge, okay? Up and hold, feel the strength, good. Now hold this position, feel all that lovely strong contraction. Hold it, two, one, and back. Oh yeah, and again, up and hold. Come on, be beautiful. Those legs should be strong and straight, your arms. Squeeze your belly. Hold it. Come on, you should be looking like the picture of strength. And back. Oh, two more. Hold your position. Beautiful. Lower those legs, guys. Come on, hold this position. Nice and calm. Just breathe. Breathe and know you can do this. Breathe. Two, one. And back. One more. Ready? All the way out. Now, hold this. Strong mind, strong body. You have totally got this. This is easy for you. This is what you work for. Three, two, one, and back. Fantastic, guys. Beautiful job. Okay, let's add a little bit of speed. Okay, so legs are up, straight this time. Arms are up, straight as usual. You're going to exhale, the legs are going to come down, and so are the arms. You're going to hold this position, bend at the elbow and flat down on the palms. Bend and down, bend and down, fast, pulses, so your upper arm is resting on the carriage, your elbow is bending, and then you're pushing the palms down onto the carriage, good. You're pulsing as fast as you can, and then relax. Oh, okay, if you pulse too fast, if you get a little bit too excited, you will lose the, moment, the um, tightness on your springs and you'll bounce around a little bit. So if any of you reach that point, first of all, fair flipping plate, yeah? Going for it like a mad woman. But try and be a bit more in control, okay? Just a little bit. Just try <clears throat> and chill it out just before you get to that point. So legs up, arms up. Everything forward. Now, are you ready? You're just bending your elbows, but everything else is staying the same, remember? Okay, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Can you speed it up? Five, four, three, come on, power through them. Two, one, and bend the knees in, and relax back for a second. Good. So you're concentrating on the arm movement. As soon as the arm comes up, you are pushing the arm back down onto the carriage. But your core is rock solid. So a nice big movement foot through your arms whilst maintaining your core. Legs up and everything straight forward hold. Are you ready? Now bend, straighten, bend, straighten. The head and shoulders are up the whole time. There is only one joint moving. Your elbows. Five, four, three. Come on, fight for this. Two, last one. Relax. Oh. If you want a six pack, you've got to fight for it. Oh yeah. I want a six pack and I'm fighting for it, but I haven't actually got one. <laughs> Something to do with four children. So, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Nothing to do with wine. So, legs up, arms up, head down, breathe in. Everything forward and hold. Are you ready? Come on, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Come on, power, strong, determined. Come on, you're stronger than you think you are. Do not give up. Three, two, one, and back. We're gonna do one more. Oh yeah. One more. I want the I want whoever else is in your house to feel you to, to hear you huffing and puffing and screaming and shouting from that other room. If not, I'm not doing my job right. Legs up, arms up, inhale, forward. Hold your position. Focus your mind. 
Everything stays solid. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Come on, push. Yes, work for this, guys. Strong mind, strong body. Change happens. Three, two, one, and relax. Ah. Okay, straps back. Long part of the straps back on your shoulder blocks. Bring your knees into your chest. Come take a moment. Drop to one side and drop to the other side. Release your back. Oh, big breaths into your stomach. Hmm. Well done. I'm proud of you guys. Stuck with me on that one. Legs. Let's do some legs. Okay, so we are going to use the box for this one. <clears throat> so grab your box and pop it short ways across your shoulder blocks. Okay, now I want you to have your weights handy because <clears throat> we can always crank it up a little bit. So as for your springs, now, I want you to have a medium spring, medium to light, because I'd like a little bit of balance to be involved with this. So I would advise you try your yellow spring. <clears throat> okay, if that's proving a little bit um, too easy for you, you can go up to your red spring, grab your weights. Now, first of all, weights. Leave them on your box for now because I want you to feel how this feels before you start debalancing yourself even further. So you've got your one medium, medium to light spring on. Your leg is parallel to the box, so you're pushing your thigh against that box. You are going to <clears throat> pop your foot onto the foot bar, toes on the foot bar. So there'll be a slight, you'll, your leg will be at a slight angle if you try and get it in line, your knee in line with your hip. You're gonna probably split yourself in two. Good luck with that. So angle your knee, angle your toe, okay? So your foot is like in a V position again. Grab your, no, sorry, don't grab your weights. I'm jumping ahead. Calm down, Kelly. Hand on the box. Now, the idea is you push away and you're bringing in. Nice and easy, yeah? Okay, but when you get a rhythm, and you start lifting, whoa, <laughs> my weights. And you start lifting your arms off so you don't use anything to balance. And yes, you're loosely pressing against this box, but your mid area, this whole area is what's keeping you solid. And just work that leg, baby. Work the leg. So these are fast. Nothing is moving except the leg. Good, good. Good. Now, when you're confident, when you're confident with that, grab your weights. As you bend them into your chest, as you push away, open your arms and close. Open and close. So this lovely wide movement, this is really making your trunk, that upper section of your core, your spine, everything is working to stabilize you and stop you falling off. Nobody wants to fall off a reformer. Not really, although I'm sure it's happened. Open, close, open, close. Good, now you should be feeling these in your biceps as well. Take charge of that, focus on those muscles and just feel them working. And be a little bit like a He-Man. Oh yeah, if you switch these muscles on, Turn your attention to the muscles. They work out more. They respond. They speak to you. Good. Three. Oh, you should be feeling this. Two. One. And relax. Oh, okay. Now, switch your spring. Same leg. So you are probably on your yellow spring. So add another yellow spring. So you've got your two yellow springs. Don't worry about your weights for now. So make sure they're somewhere reachable. 
So we've switched this to a heavier spring. Now, you are gonna be pushing yourself against this box more, because there's gonna be more force. So try not to tip the box up. Focus on pushing that knee down into the carriage. You're channeling your energy, your weight downwards, not across, okay? You're not heaving it across here. You are solid. You're pretending you do not have that box next to you and you are just pushing the carriage out and bringing it in. Good, now, you wanna use your weights, go ahead. I'm just quite happy doing it like this. Oh yeah, this is hard enough. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Intense leg workout. Okay, now swap it around. No, this is bad for you, but good for me. I don't get to see anyone. Oh, you get to see my, my ass. <laughs> Apologies in advance. Now, swap it around. Remember, change your spring. So just that one yellow. So unhook your yellow. Have your weights handy, but get your balance first. Toe on the foot bar, remember? And straighten that leg and bend it all the way in. All the way out, all the way in. So, these will feel nice and easier after what you've just done. But remember, speed, speed, speed. So everything from the hips up, they're not moving. You are not squishing tightly into that box because you are taking the weight yourself. Good, you're not cheating. Grab your weights, open the arms, close the arms. Open the arms as the carriage goes out. Close the arms as the carriage comes in. Good. You'll feel you have to balance a little bit more and the leg that is your stabilizing leg, that'll have to work a good bit harder as well. If you're not comfortable with the weights, just do without, it's absolutely okay. We won't judge you. <laughs> Five, four, three, speed it up if you want to. Two, one. Relax, weights down. Increase your spring, add the yellow spring for me. So you've got your two yellows back into that same position and push the carriage away, bring the carriage back. Push it away and bring it back. If you can, let go of the box and just keep that movement going. Good, this is a lot more intense, so just do what you can. Good, your leg is at an angle. You're still externally rotated. So if you've got knee joint problems, you might wanna go easy on this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and relax, oh my goodness. I'm feeling it in the legs today, baby. Oh, I feel that in my knees a little bit because I've got old lady knees. Now, box off, please. Whoops. Box off. Okay, let's do some feet in strap work. So, I'd like you to pop you one red and your two blue springs on, please. One red and two blues. Again, if you're getting very confident with your reformer and you want to crank it up, you can have your one red and two yellows or one red, one blue and one yellow. You can do whatever you feel, all right? I'm going for one red and two blues. It's a very safe option. It's the medium option. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Legs, feet, sorry, in the straps. One, two. Okay. Now, legs up to the ceiling and just hold on there for a second and get the stretch down the back of the legs. Hold on to your knees or your shins and just hold that stretch and go back a bit further. Pull out your lower back, holding the shins forward so they're not, so you're not having to strain your legs, you're getting the stretch. And can they go back anymore? Good. And again, just stretch and pull. Now bend your knees into your chest, 
pull out through your lower back and push your feet forward okay now we're ready lifting up push down lift up push down good all the way up all the way down now with these i've got a medium spring on so i went for the one red and two blues so i can get a little bit of speed up on this one i prefer that if you've gone for your heavier spring just slow it down slightly and push the legs down bring the legs up now let's get a rhythm going with this so as soon as the legs come up heave through those straps and push them right down now quads let's get those quads working and the hamstrings don't just rely on the hamstrings feel it in your quads too and down good good and again three two one well done now we're gonna open the legs a little bit so bring them up towards the ceiling and just open up a few inches so they're just a little bit wider than your hips they're not mad wide okay they're just a bit wider than your hips and again down and up now maintain that width between your legs down and up good good so your legs are in a v position they are not together and they're staying in that v position as they're going down and up and again down and up and down on up get a nice little rhythm squeeze your core down and up good now a few inches wider so now you are heading towards your attempt at a splits position so you're not quite at your limit you're at your safe end of the limit and down and up good big wide V position as wide as you can Ooh, down up down all right keep on going guys core tight relax your arms your shoulders down up down up all the way down all the way up and again three two come on a bit faster one and relax ankles and knees back together leg circles splits position down and around good again i quite like to get a little bit of speed on with this but if you're feeling stiff if you're not feeling very flexible today nice and slow no problem at all breathe deep feel what's going on in your hip sockets get as much rotation as you can point your toes and reverse the circle so down to the foot bar, into your splits, up and around. And again. Good. Find your rhythm. Focus your mind. Get to know your body. Feel what it's doing. Speed it up if you can. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Woo two good last one and down okay now how's he going up and over oh hold behind yourself for a second and just push away from that shoulder block a little bit just reposition yourself bring the legs together lift up towards the ceiling okay so your legs are nice and high then you're going to drop them back over your face over your head so I'm looking at my knees, okay? Bend the knees, roll down through your back and push forward. So legs stay straight as they lift up towards the ceiling. Straight, straight, straight. You're up like a candlestick. You're trying not to let the legs go up over your head just yet. Up nice and straight. And then you start to let them go over your head. Good. Bend your knees slightly and start rolling through your back and push out with your feet so up tall up as high as you can good now legs fall over keep them straight now bend roll through the back push out with your feet 
straight legs and again up high good straps go nice and limp here bend the knees roll through the back and push out one more up nice and tall control it now drop those legs over your head bend your knees and roll through your back push your feet out okay now i was gonna do some with our feet all with our legs in the circle but i forgot to tell you to get it ready so we won't bother oh, so take your feet out of those straps and pop the straps back behind you and consider yourselves lucky <sighs> okay now aye, aye, aye. so I am going to ask you to keep your foot bars up not drop your foot bars um, hook all the springs on if you can we're gonna do some we're gonna do a little bit of um, play play around with the plank a little bit so all your springs um, can be on no not all your springs are on sorry forget it cut cut <laughs> one yellow spring sorry one yellow spring my mind is on I'm, I'm going ahead of myself here grab your box one yellow spring grab your grab your box we are doing plank positions slightly different to what I was thinking in my own brain okay now you've got your yellow spring on so you've got your medium spring bring your knees onto the reformer <clears throat> drop down with your forearms onto your box now lift your two feet up and as you push one foot forward lift the second foot up so you are you've got your toes on that foot bar so you're elevated you're in a nice high plank does that make sense and your arms are on the box now i want you to drop the heels back and then push the toes forward back and forward a small movement but you're holding the plank position your ankles are moving good ten nine eight you're not moving your arms they're staying your elbows are staying under your shoulders five four three two one down okay so with the plank position remember try and keep your hips low try not to have your butt too high in that v position don't dip through your back and always listen to what your back is saying the planks are not easy on the reformer okay <sighs> now down again on the arms push the carriage away on one foot and then lift up with the second foot drop them hips and just try and squeeze your core and again you're going to drop your heels back and forward just like those heel sinks it's a very small move good good it's just basically a little distraction while you're holding your plank and it makes you balance more good you focus tighter when you've got a movement going on and five four three two one down oh good now the next ones I want to show you was twisting through the hips just be careful with your back on these ones if you're feeling you just that you're you know that you're struggling with this one you can just hold your solid plank position for as long as you can no problem but i will show you the hip twists so you're back in your plank position and you're going to twist your hips one way and twist your hips the other way now what i don't want you to do is twist your whole body around i'm doing it here because i'm looking at the camera no 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 see this this is my hips twisting but my shoulders are staying the same twist the hips imagine somebody's got hold of your two hips and they're just twisting on one way and then the other way twist 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 your butt will be moving too twist 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 three two one and back oh okay so imagine somebody's holding on to your hips and they're just twisting 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 so your shoulders are not overly moving either your butt and this lower section of your stomach and your hips are twisting 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 make sense good okay one more set push away hold your position sink down a little bit squeeze your core twist twist 
twist, twist. Good, good, good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, belly tight. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and back. Oh, okay. Well done. Grab your circle and sit on the box. Take a breather for a second. It's okay. Okay, well done. This is where we add all the springs on. All the springs get added for this one. The box is in the same position and you are sat on the box and you are holding the dreaded circle. Okay. Now, stomach. So, I like to be up on my toes, but you can have your feet flat if you want to. It's no big problem. You're concentrating on your roll down and protecting your back. So I'll show you what I want you to do first. Arms are extended, you're looking through your circle. I like my heels against the box and I like to be up on my toes. Sink under with your tailbone, roll back. Okay, so maneuver yourself on the box so you're comfortable. You're rolling back, you're not falling off that box, okay? You've got enough space on here to fit your butt, don't be saying anything. Roll back and hold this position and you are gonna pulse one, two, three, four, five, six. See how small they are? Seven, eight, nine, ten, and up. So your pulses are minute, okay? Because you've rolled back already and you've got nothing to catch her. You are not on the floor. Your arms are extended. That's your lever length. You are gonna just drop back and pulse up. You'll feel the contraction on your stomach. You will be hardly moving, but if you're not feeling it, move some more, girl. Okay, and tuck under, roll back. Find that position. You'll feel this in your thighs as well, okay? And pulse, pulse, pulse. You'll feel it in your stomach. Your legs are trying desperately to keep you balanced and from tipping <laughs> backwards. Three, two, one, and up. Okay, do you understand what I mean? So as you're tipping back, your quads are left working like hell to keep you stable. Your stomach's working like hell to keep you stable. And them are the two muscles I want you to concentrate on. Up tall, roll under, tailbone tuck. Roll, roll, roll as far as you can. Now, are you feeling it already? Good. Pulse, 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 pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and up. <sighs> that would be quite funny if I fell, wouldn't it? Okay. <laughs> Not funny for me. <laughs> okay, right. Same position, but not quite so far back. Tuck under and roll. Hold your position and you're going to just twist to the side and twist to the side. Twist, 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 twist. Okay, twist. Come on, you're doing this with me. Twist, twist, twist. As you twist, you will feel a pull all down those obliques. Enjoy that pull. That is your six pack being born. Three, two, one. Relax. You'll feel as you twist, you'll feel a big pull this side. Twist the other way, pull this side. Enjoy the pull. Feel the muscles pulling. That is you getting stronger. Okay. You're doing good. You're doing good. You see, I've got I have a clock in front of me but I have no idea when I started. So I look at the clock and I see a time, it means nothing. Because <laughs> I never remember to clock when I start. So, hence why your classes are all over the place, time-wise. <laughs> Useless. Now, roll down and twist, 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 twist. Come on, those quads should be tight. Now, focus on your abs. Pull, pull, pull. Nice and far back, come on. Pull, three, two, one, and back. One more set, slight tweak to it this time, but we're done with the abs after this set. <sighs> okay, I will demonstrate 
roll you back. You've been twisting and twisting and twisting nice and fast. You are going to concentrate on one side and pulse and then the other side and pulse. One side, hold it, pulse, 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 pulse. Oh yeah, come on, you should feel these nearly ripping apart. And the other side, pulse, pulse, pulse. Can you feel your belly? And the other side, pulse, 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 pulse. One more, other side. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Oh, good. Okay. Ah, well done. <laughs> well done. Now, so you're going to hate me, but do you remember we did some teaser training? Mm -hmm. Let's do it again. So, your box is all ready. Switch it around. Your springs go to your yellow spring. Now, if you've been practicing and you fancy having a go here, go to your yellow spring. If you're gonna just carry on with the simple one, the cheat one, our workup one, absolutely fine, especially after what you've just done. It's probably the most sensible option, okay? So I will talk you through the sensible option. Because you know me, I like to be sensible every now and again. So your springs are on, because for this one, we ain't gonna be moving the carriage. Start in your end position, okay? Yes, I did say that, I mean to say that. Start in the end position. So, your hands are forward and on them two corners of the box at the front. You're gonna drop back, you're gonna lift your legs, and you are in your end position of your teaser, like so. Now, roll back, Control, don't just flop back like a lunatic. Roll back, have some finesse. Okay, head drop back. Are you ready? From this position, let's go. Bring the chin to the chest, start extending the legs out and start rolling the back up. Grab onto the box. Now, can your legs get any higher? Can your shoulders go back? Can you let go? And can you hold it? Can you do a little dance? Three, two, one, roll back. The roll back should have your abs on fire too. Oh, the roll back is all part of it, okay? Control, breathe in and chin up to your chest. You're peeling your back up off the box. Your legs are getting straight. Now this is where you perfect it. Nobody's looking, so who cares? <laughs> Straighten those legs. I don't care what you look like. Come on, straighten those legs. Shoulders back and down. Hold the position, let go. Three, two, one. Good, roll back, roll back, roll back. Slow. Okay, trust me, I'm dying right now, but we're gonna do two more. Breathe in, roll up, slowly. Now, perfect your position and just hold it. Straighten those knees, point those toes, let go, shoulders back. Are your legs shaking? Cause mine are, and hold it. Three, two, one, roll, roll, slowly, 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 slowly. One more, okay, hang on. We need to breathe, oh, my abs. Okay, are you ready? Chin to chest. Come on guys, you can do this, roll up. And hold your position, bring those legs right up. Shoulders back and down. Three, two, one. Now, slowly back, slowly back. It ain't over yet. Slowly back, slowly back, slowly back, slowly back. And relax. Straighten your legs, flop your neck. Drop your head back, arms out. And just a couple of nice big breaths. Now, the teaser is basically as tough as it gets on the reformer. Um, so you are doing awesome. For if you guys want to have a little quick bash, quickly reach forward, stick your yellow spring on. Stick your yellow spring on, grab onto your straps if you want to have a go. If you're totally done, well, you don't need to do this. Stay in that position. Okay. So your head's back, your legs in tabletop, your arms, 
you look like you're being crucified. They're out to the side. Okay. Chin to chest. Now start bringing your arms forward and your legs up and your arms are forward and they're holding on to this nice straight arm position. And then you're rolling back with control. Remember? Good. And again, drop the head back. Open the arms wide. This is how we start. And now, arms come forward. Head and shoulders up, back up, legs straight. Balance, hold, and back down. How are you doing, guys? Are you with me? Or are you just all abandoned? Have you abandoned me? Have you gone? <laughs> you got one more? If you're still doing the version without the straps, this is all good. Do not worry. Breathe in. And up, 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 up. Okay, woo! Hold on, shoulders back, strong through your core. Lift those legs, drop those shoulders back, and you're done. Drop back, relax. Quit it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You've done fabuloso. Well done. Let's do some stretches. Box off. <clears throat> now, one blue spring for your stretches. Foot bar up. And you know what to do. So let's start next to the box. Okay. Bring that knee up onto the carriage and the foot against the foot bar. Drop the carriage behind you. If you want, you can lift your toe up and put your heel into the floor to get an even deeper stretch down your calf. Foot down, bend the knee and drop down to the floor. And bring it back up. Good. Now, just if you can, without moving into the next stretch, stay in this position. Bring one arm around to the side, okay? And twist, twist through your back. We did a good bit of work on that lower back today. So twist, hold it, back to centre and just round your back like the cat and go into your cow position, look up to the ceiling and again, so you're rounding your back and then you're dipping it down. Drop that knee a little bit to get deeper into that dip and then one more, arm straight. Look over your shoulder so you're twisting all the way around. And the other side. Well done. Okay. All the way down. Heel in, toe up to start with. Sink into it. Stretch out the back of the legs all through the calf. Now foot down, bend the knee and drop down. Oh, nice stretch. Bring the carriage in when you're ready. Stay in the same position. And you're just going to manoeuvre yourself so your arm goes around to the side. And you're just twisting through the back, through your spine. The arm is straight and you're looking over your shoulder and then back. And then you're going to round your back so your two hands go back onto your foot bar. You're just going to round your back, round your back and then all the way under. So you're gonna flat that back down. So you're arching through your back, look up to the ceiling. You're gonna have to bend your leg with this one to get nice and deep. And then again, so this is like a variation of your cat cow. So you're arching your back, round it, and then dip into your back, dip in the back, and then bring the carriage back in and just straighten the arm, twist the whole way around. Big old twist. Oh, okay. Good. Sitting on the carriage for me. I like to cross my legs with this one. Hands behind. Oops, hands behind. Pull the shoulders back. Chest to the sky. Couple of deep breaths. And if you can, just take these few moments to just be proud of yourselves for what you've just achieved. You've made yourself stronger, healthier. Hands behind onto the onto the foot bar and push away. You're doing great work maintaining your body and your mental health, your emotional 
balance it is so vital and important and bring the carriage in and do it one more time pull those shoulders move your neck one way and then the other way do whatever feels good just stretch it out to the sides whatever you feel like doing oh and then reach behind tuck under with your tailbone and push the carriage away oh you're doing brilliant work guys i'm really proud of you all i'm so glad we're getting use out of these performers because they're seriously fantastic pieces of equipment they really are um bring the carriage back in and you're done you're really really done <laughs> literally <laughs> in all ways thank you um, and i hope you're enjoying these classes and i hope you're staying well i'm sure you are we'll all be fine we're doing great and i will see you for the second class of the week in a couple of days